Right guys, here's my rooster build. Flight one. Oh, there goes the lid. the guts so this has the flight one millivolt OSD v2 it's a 20 by 20 stack and under that is the holy bro teco 32 mini F3, so it's got an F3 in it, and uh, it's a uh, four and one, 20 by 20 stack also. So this is a 3D printed piece that converts it from 30 by 30 millimeter to 20 by 20. Uh, I'll post a link in the description. So it's a 20 by 20 stack on the rooster. Fits nicely. As you can see, only two holding it there. It's been fine. Some 3D printed parts, of course. For the Immortal T. So, yeah, for the receiver, got the Nano. And, uh, yeah, it's the receiver and the motors. The iFlight Go. Zing mortars and these ones are um, 2450 kV 2306 pretty sweet motors and if you can see it close I wonder if you guys can see it. yeah they're real nice and uh, 3d printed parts here Also posted these links in the description for these parts, and I've painted the cage. Um, well, not spray painted the cage with bronze. Me trying to find. Yeah, so I think it looks nice. Switching it up to, on the look, but yeah, I really like the build. Oh, yeah, and then obviously, I want to mention the TBS. What's this one called again? The Unify Pro Race MMCX makes it easier to clip on and off yeah, it's solid and that's my first uh, TBS Unify uh, VTX got it with this TBS Triumph and uh, yeah this makes for a really easy build like very minimal uh, soldering soldering whatever just had to solder here to bridge and here to bridge also if you guys want to do a similar build hopefully you can see where I bridged here to have this set up and I'm gonna post pictures and uh, my rotor builds page it'll show like the more detailed uh, pictures of the wiring to make it easy but yeah fairly easy and the UI is pretty awesome uh, makes it simple to set up uh, very minimal issues that I've had setting this up maybe one or two trying to get the OSD but that's my own fault for not wiring it properly but if you guys see this wiring you guys won't have any issues um, you guys will know right away how to set it all up um, yeah but it's all you gotta do is like pretty much move the pins to the right spot for your corresponding like uh, for the camera for the receiver um, the this 4-in-1 ESC 
I didn't have to switch any of the pins or the wires in the pins at all, which made it super easy because that would have been a hell of a time moving all these pins around. Uh, so yeah, that was super easy. It fit in like no problem. Um, yeah, and the layout, the board, uh, the Teco 32 four in one mini F3 definitely fits perfect with a millivolt. Um, no repinning at all, as I said, and it makes for a clean build. Yeah, so hopefully I'm gonna get some more time to fly this. I've only got uh, one flight on it because it's been raining and uh, yeah, I haven't really had time to fly it. So hopefully uh, we'll get to fly it. But so far, my first thoughts on uh, flight one is it's very, I find it similar to Butterflight. It's not too much different. Um, but I had someone um, from Instagram help me out with the PIDs, gave me his, his PIDs. So I'm gonna try those out. Um, definitely a lot lower PIDs than what the default are. I tried the Schizo PIDs um, and yeah, the UI, again, it makes it super easy to try like other people's um, PIDs just right off there. It'll give you a lot of def different options. And uh, let me see who it was here, the name. So the name on Instagram, he was helping me out a lot here. So shout out to uh, Mark20XX. Help me with uh, setting up and with issues that I had. So I'll post his IG in the description. But yeah, it's uh, it's nice. Nice build, can't wait to fly it again. And I'll be posting flight videos. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching.